Welcome to Medifer. This is a series for topics in first aid for USMLE step 1. The topic of the day is bacterial genetics. Here I am going to discuss about the transfer of genetic material between the bacteria. The methods, okay, the methods are transformation, conjugation, transduction, transposition. I repeat the transfer of genetic material between bacteria occurs via transformation, conjugation, transduction, transposition. Coming to the proper transformation, here can you see the naked DNA? It is a donor DNA. It is free bacterial chromosomal DNA. It is bacterial recipient cell. This naked DNA is taken by this recipient cell. For this to occur, the bacteria needs competence factor and this usually occurs in the log phase of the bacterial growth. After taking this naked DNA, the recipient cell becomes transformed cell where it contains its own DNA and donor DNA. This method usually seen in Streptococcus pneumoniae, H. influenza type AB and Neisseria. This can be remembered by Shin. Okay. S for Streptococcus pneumoniae, H for uh, H I Haemophilus influenza type AB and N for Neisseria. Can you prevent this process? Yes, it can be prevented by the addition of deoxyribonuclease to the naked DNA which degrades it. Coming to the second method, conjugation. Conjugation means here the transfer of genetic material occurs via a bridge. It is known as conjugate bridge or conjugate tube or six pi light. So before going to the uh, proper conjugation, first you have to know certain terms like what is f plus cell what is f minus what is hfr cell and what is f prime cell f plus cell means the cell which contains f plasmid or fertility factor or sex plasmid see can you see this bacterial cell it has its own uh, chromosomal dna right and even it has extra chromosomal material that is plasmid right this plasmid containing fertility factor is known as F plasmid and the bacterial cell containing this F plasmid is known as F plus cell. If the bacterial cell doesn't contain this fertility factor then it is known as F minus cell. Then what about HFR cell? HFR cell is the bacterial cell where the F plasmid is integrated with the bacterial chromosome. It is known as high frequency recombinant cell. So what is HFR cell? It is the bacterial cell where the plasmid is integrated. Okay, the F plasmid is integrated with the bacterial chromosome. So it is known as high frequency recombinant. Then what is F prime cell? F prime cell is where the plasmid, okay, this F plasmid contains the chromosomal genes, bacterial chromosomes. This is F prime cell. Now coming to the conjugation. So I told the transfer of genetic material occurs via bridge, okay, that is known as conjugating bridge, conjugating tube, sex pile, or it is also known as mating bridge. Now I'll explain you the conjugation between F plus and F minus cell. Can you see this F plus cell which has F plasmid and F minus cell which doesn't have F plus fertility factor, right? A bridge is formed between these two cells. Now, a copy of, right, a single strand of plasmid DNA, okay, a single strand of this plasmid DNA is transferred across this mating bridge, okay, only this copy of plasmid DNA is copied, not the chromosomal DNA, okay, now this F minus cell is converted to F plus cell, okay, I repeat the conjugation between F plus and F minus will leads to the formation of F plus cell. Now coming to the second one, the conjugation between HFR and F minus cell. So the conjugation between high frequency high frequency recombinant cell okay and F minus cell. Can you see the high frequency recombinant cell and F minus cell? Yeah, the bridge is formed between these two. Now the transfer of this leading part, okay, the transfer of this leading part of plasmid and few chromosomal genes are transferred to the F minus cell. Here, see this F minus cell will remain F minus, but it is containing many 
uh, genes like it contains the bacterial genes okay and the plasmid genes few of the plasmid genes right so it is known as recombinant f minus cell so the conjugation between hfr and f minus cell will result in the formation of recombinant f minus cell now i told you about f prime cell okay f prime cell means it contains the f plasmid contain the chromosomal genes bacterial chromosome so the con the conjugation between this f prime cell and f minus is known as sex duction okay same way a bridge is formed between the f prime and f minus cell and a copy of this uh, f prime plasmid is sent to the f minus cell resulting in f prime cells okay now coming to the third method of genetic material transfer that is by transduction transduction it is viral mediated which virus it is bacteriophage okay it is a bacteriophage right there are two types of bacteriophage that is lytic bacteriophage or i can tell lytic phage and the other is lysogenic phage lytic phage means the bacteriophage which undergoes lytic cycle which undergoes lytic cycle lysogenic phage means the bacteria the bacteriophage which undergoes lysogenic phage what is the difference i'll tell you see main in lytic phage there will be no the viral dna will not combine with the bacterial dna okay but whereas in lysogenic phase there is integration there is incorporation of this viral dna with the bacterial dna okay that is the difference see this the lytic phage transduction is generalized one see can you see the bacteriophage is getting in is infecting the bacterial cell okay the bacteriophage is infecting the bacteria after that it leads to the cleavage of this bacterial dna so during packing okay during packaging of this phage dna even the bacterial chromosome dna will be packed so it is known as packaging error okay few of the bacteriophage okay few of the phage contains the bacterial dna also now the phage that containing this bacterial dna if it infects the other bacteria okay then the transfer of genetic material occurs so i repeat uh, transduction is viral mediated that is bacteriophage mediated in the generalized one that is it occurs by the lytic phage where there is a packaging error during package the bacterial chromosome is packed in the phage capsid and this phage will infect the other bacteria and this is how the genetic material is transferred whereas coming to the specialized form of this transduction that is lysogenic conversion by the lysogenic phage what happens here the viral dna okay the this phage is infecting the bacteria here the viral dna is getting incorporated into the bacterial dna now this phage okay this phage dna contains okay this phage dna contains even the bacterial chromosome parts of the bacterial chromosomal dna okay so this way it infects the other bacteria and the genetic transfer occurs can you know uh, can you notice that in this transfer you have even the 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 recipient okay the recipient bacteria contains donor dna donor bacteria dna and even the viral dna okay that is the difference see in the lytic phase just it is having the donor donor bacterial dna and its own right now here it also contains viral uh, viral dna okay there are five bacterial toxins which are encoded okay which are encoded by lysogenic phage that you can remember by a b c d a for group a streptococcus that is erythrogenic toxin b is botulinum toxin c for cholera toxin d for diphtheria toxin s for shiga toxin i repeat the five bacterial toxins encoded in lysogenic phage are five a b c d a for group a streptococcus erythrogenic toxin b for botulinum toxin c for cholera toxin d for diphtheria toxin s for shiga toxin 
okay coming to the next method that is transposition okay the movement of defined dna segment movement of defined dna segment this defined dna segment is known as transposon okay what is this transposon it is known as jumping genes okay it is a specialized dna segment which can copy and excise itself and then get inserted into the other dna molecule into the same or other dna molecule okay so i can tell the movement of this defined dna segment from one genomic site to the other okay this is nothing but transposition this is this plays a role in the creating plasmid with multi drug resistance and transfer across the species lines example you can remember tn1546 with vancoma uh, vana from enterococcus to streptococcus so to summarize we have discussed the transfer of genetic material between the bacteria by four methods right one is transformation where the naked dna is taken by the bacteria then conjugation where the uh, transfer is occurring via conjugating bridge here uh, there we have studied three conjugates that is between the conjugation between f f plus and f minus and the conjugation between hfr and f minus and the conjugation between f prime and f minus which is known as extraction and the third method is transduction okay transduction is by the it is a viral mediated bacterial recombination then in that we have two right one is generalized by the lytic phage the other is specialized by the lysogenic phage the fourth one is transposition it is by the transposons thank you